population of Buddhists is formed around a big asterism that includes Alpha, Epsilon, Delta, Beta, Gamma, and Rho Buddhists. The asterism is called Kite or Parachute. The Buddhist constellation has many double stars which are a favorite target for observation by many amateur astronomers. Taurus's star type is an orange giant K-class, 110% the mass of the Sun. Its luminosity is 100 to 200 times the luminosity of our Sun. The diameter, approximately 22 million miles, 36 million kilometers, that's 26 times the Sun. The temperature is approximately 4,000 degrees Celsius, which is 7,200 degrees Fahrenheit. Its age approximately 10 billion years old and rotation period is two years. Arcturus is a giant star in the northern hemisphere of Earth's sky that's the brightest in the constellation of Buddhists. Arcturus is also among the brightest stars that can be seen from Earth with the naked eye. Astronomers say Arcturus will end up as a white dwarf at the end of its life. The easiest way to spot Arcturus in the night sky is by following the curve of Ursa Major's The Big Dipper's handle in the sky, thus revealing the origin of the famous phrase, follow the arc to Arcturus and then speed on to Spica. Spica is the next star and you can also see it in a couple of the photos in this video. The latter part of that phrase refers to the bright star Spica, which is actually a binary. Arcturus location is the constellation of Buddhists. As quiet and serene as the stars look, they are not, but rolling bales of violent plasma. With its orange glow, Arcturus is easily visible to the naked eye and thus made it quite visible to astronomers from many cultures over a long period of time. The Inuit in Canada's north, for example, called the star Atukaluluk. For old, the name Arcturus, however, comes from the ancient Greek Arcturus, which means something like bear, guard, or the watcher of the bear. The name refers to Arcturus's proximity to Ursa Major and Ursa Minor, the great bear and the lesser bear. Arcturus' name appears in Greek literature at least as far back as the time of Hesiod, who wrote about the star in his book Works and Days. Arcturus has a lower temperature than the Sun, which means that a lot of its energy is radiated as heat. Arcturus actually... The star is in the latter stages of its life, considered a red giant. It has stopped fusing hydrogen in its core, as the Sun does, and astronomers believe it is now starting to fuse heavier elements, such as carbon. Arcturus is 36.66 light years away from Earth. Scientists believe today once Arcturus exhausts its helium supply, its outer layers will likely bleed off and become a white dwarf remnant. Arcturus star is part of the Arcturus stream, a group of ancient stars which move at a different angle and at a greater speed than other stars in our galaxy. The Arcturus stream is thought to be the remnants of a dwarf galaxy that collided with the Milky Way. In around a million years, Arcturus will be so far from Earth, it will be no longer visible to the naked eye. This is a quick look at uh, my next video. It will be of the constellation of Lyra. We're going to see the stars Vega 
and a couple of other interesting stars. There are five main stars to the constellation of Lyra. It's a small constellation. Its bordering constellations are Draco, Hercules, Vulpicoa, and Cygnus. Time travel in Phoenix mythology was played by Arbaz. Its two music tracks can be seen in the two links below.